Hey, what's up everybody? This is Ryan, VC Aikido Martial Arts, and today we're going to be talking all about the second control, Nikkyo. This is the last control of the five that we've gone over. Nikkyo is often one of the hardest controls to master outside of Yankyo, finding that nerve. Nikkyo is more of a control that is kind of spur of the moment. It's not one you would uh, normally go looking for kind of fall into it. You'll see what I mean here in a second. Cool thing about Nikkyo is um, it's a control that can be mastered and applied to create a lot of discomfort in the wrist. And the form or shape that you're looking for on your opponent is just like this with the thumb down, the hand turned 180 degrees, and you can refer to this as a Z or a nest shape on the arm. Give you a better look there. All right. Now, there are basic ways to get into this control when you're working with opponent in a structured training environment. There are some shortcut or quicker ways to get into this uh, depending on the attack. Most of the time this technique will come on uh, manifested from a grab. I'll show you a couple of different ways this can come on from one or more different grabs and then we'll do one application from a strike. Okay, I've got no Elliot here. We're going to walk through uh, first just the, the key hone or the basic way to get into this from close to Dory. Okay? Actually, let's do the other hand. be easier for everybody to see. Perfect. All right? Don't forget, going into control from this cross hand position, we need to get off the line, take the balance using the center. Always good to practice review, never using the upper body. All right? I'm going to bring Noah down. So, the main thing you want to remember once you get into this position. Make sure you've got control of the elbow. Other hand's going to come around and grab the hand. Let me show you that one more time. This hand, you're going to trace the thumb along the bottom and bring it in so you can ask your partner, hey, can you see your palm? They should be able to look over mm -hmm. and see it. This is Nikkyo. Bring it back up. Check it out. You should see that same structure that we have before, just like this. And when everything is held just so, when you put the wrist motion like you're putting your pinky towards your partner's face, this is where Nikkyo comes on, the discomfort happens. What happens when discomfort comes on? Your opponent, like you saw with Noah just did, wants to go to the ground. Why? It releases pressure, right? So the more you put it on, you want to go to the ground because it doesn't feel good. Going to the ground releases the pressure almost immediately. So this is very helpful when you want to get your opponent to the ground very quickly. Once you have your opponent on the grounds, you can go into the pin. Pin should be very familiar. When we're reviewing Sankyo, we're pinching the shoulder between the knees, right? Biggest difference between Nikkyo and Sankyo as a key hone or basic formal way to do the pin is that instead of bringing the palm to your shoulder, you're going to cradle it right here in your elbow. You're still bringing this hand across the arm. The elbow joint's actually right here, and bending that in, it forms to the contours of your body beautifully. So you've got a really, really good, good, strong structure here. And same thing, whole upper body turns towards the head of your opponent. I've seen people do variations where they'll grab the hands here, grab their arm here, everything in. There's a lot of ways to do it, like tying a belt, more than one way, okay? That's the Nikkyo pin, formal key helm. Now, if someone were to grab you same way on your wrist, there's a shorter way to get into this, right? You can do this without going through the whole monotony of getting off the line and going down to the ground. You're just focusing on the wrist. Now you're still getting off the line and you're still using your hips, but what you're doing is you're gonna put the arm into that position a lot faster. Let me show you what I mean. This time I'm going to move to Noah's outside instead of his inside. As I move to his outside, I'm going to take this hand and I'm going to wrap it right over the wrist. I'll show you that again. I'm going to wrap it right over the wrist. Okay. Reason I'm getting off the line is if I try to do this from right here and Noah bears down on me, I can't get my, my hand over here because he's putting all his weight here and I'm also within striking distance with his hand or his foot. Right? So that's two things I can't afford to do, two mistakes I can't afford to make. Getting off the line gets me out of range with his hand and his foot. Temporarily, of course, you can always adjust, but it gives me the time that I need. And number two, 
just like getting off the line here changes my angle so I can move Noah, getting off the line here changes my angle so I can get my hands over his wrist. And once I'm here, I can bring everything back and check it out. I'm in a position to do Nikio. All I'm going to do here is I'm going to sink these fingers down and in as I keep this hand attached to my wrist, right? So these fingers go down and in. Nikio happens, right? Don't forget to cover the hand. If you forget to cover the hand, well, your opponent will just let go, okay? They made the mistake grabbing you in the first place. Don't give them the satisfaction of being able to let go. It's your hand. You control it, all right? One more thing I want to show you guys with Nikio is shoulder grab, right? So these are the most common grabs that you're going to see Nikio being applied. So from a shoulder grab, this is another shortcut way to get into Nikio, all right? I've seen it done multiple ways. This is the most effective way that I've seen it in a pretty advanced way. So if you want to practice it, take your time and do it slowly. Same rules apply. I need to get off the line. I need to manipulate two joints this time, elbow and wrist. So as I move off the line, collapse the elbow. As I'm collapsing the elbow, this hand's going to come up and reach over so I can make sure that that hand is inverted. All right, we'll go back to start. Have Noah grab my shirt. Good. So as I move in, elbow and hand. You need to do those two things simultaneously. Now that we're here, I'm going to wrap my fingers around his tricep, and I'm just going to pull in as I lean forward. Puts pressure right on the wrist, and we can go to town from there. So those are the two grabs, colsidori or cross-hand grab, katadori or same side shoulder grab, that you're most easily able to get into Nikio from. Last thing I want to show you guys is just one example of how to use or get into a Nikio uh, pin position from a strike. And this is going to be the overhead or shown Minucci strike. Really simple to do, I'll show you how it works. So Noah's going to attack me with this outside arm here. As that attack comes, I'm going to get off the line. I'm going to let the arm come through. I'm going to bring it all the way around. And I'm just going to pull everything into my center. Now I want you to think pin, right? Not so much the Nikio contortion of the arm, but the pin. Pinch the shoulder, and everything else here should be familiar. Okay? So, when you guys are practicing Nikio, want to make sure that you're taking all these things into consideration. Like I said, it's a very uh, in-depth and rich control that you can apply in a variety of situations. But focus first on the key hone, the stuff that we were showing at the beginning of the video. Once you've got that pretty well adapted to your form, to your Aikido, try this more advanced concepts from shoulder grabs or strikes. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you next time.